All right, wonderful people. All right, wonderful people. <clears throat> good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, according to your time zone. And I welcome one of you today in the name of Tukuoki Kadiama. <clears throat> and as you are joining, don't hesitate to invite your families invite people around you, invite your neighbors. Tell them to come. Let us talk about things that matters to our struggle. And let us also talk about, about the life of our people in Lagos State. It's very, very important. We tell our people the reality. Because I always say this to my people. At the same time, we are going to also Talk about the election in Biafra land. Presidential election have come and is gone. I also want to let our people know that we must take the bull by the horn. I will not take much of your time. I'm going, it's going to be brief. For some of you that are going to join the program later, I want you to make sure that you circulate this video. And I'm going to show some videos also. I'm going to talk to our people in Biafra land about the upcoming presidential election. We are not going to shy away from reality. That is why I always fix reality. And I always tell my people the way it is. But I greet you all. Let me introduce myself because I don't want to take much of your time. If you can see me, you will see that I'm not so much feeling fine. Uh, but I have to do this. I have to do this. And you people also know that nobody pays me. I'm doing this because of the love that I have for beer from people. I know that uh, there is a way of... Uh, he was speaking Biafra because I'm going to put it in this way. That is the life of our people. Some of us that have already came to Europe, they will say, of course, I have already survived it. Let the rest of them down there, let them, let them die. I don't think so. That is not the way I'm thinking. But that is the life of Igbo man. He will tell you, I have some seed. Let others die. That is not my lifetime. That is why I always come out here to preach the gospel of freedom and the restoration of Biafran people. Mostly towards our people living in Biafra land and also our people living in different neighboring countries like West and North. Of course, some of you won't understand what I'm saying. But it have come to that time that we are supposed to begin to understand and let our words also stand. Whenever we proclaim something, let it stand. Not that we will say something, tomorrow we are going to change. That is not the way of this life. And I want you people to know that we must take the bull by the horn. Begin to identify who you are. Now let me introduce myself because I don't want to waste time. All right, wonderful people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on Piafran Television Channel 1 slash IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Nandi, Nandi Kano, the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, the highest commander and the highest authority in this movement that we are. But on absence of Mazin Namdekano, Mazi Chike, Dozem is the one in charge. I don't care about unfortunate adopted son of Afarukui Beku, Nanyu Shigamamriazu. That is not the reason why I'm here. But I'm going to go straight to the point. I salute you all. My name is Mazo Oken Naokechuku, known as the Bia Franchise Wan Shineke. The general, I am from Ihala in Anambra, 
Anambra in Biafra land. I am IPOB under chain of command. In this Biafra restoration project, either Biafra or nothing, we will keep on pushing till Biafra is totally restored. Like I said, I don't want to be that such or that kind of evil man that will say I have succeeded being in Europe. Let my people die. No, I am not that kind of people. No, I will keep on doing what I can to be able to help our people, to be able to talk things into our people, to be able to let our people understand that you see the version of Christianity in Africa is one of our problems. I see a lot of people today, they were preaching, using Mazin and the Gano to sing. That is not your problem. I want them they to continue with the version of the Christianity they have there. But I, something I want them to always tell our people, they should always tell our people the truth. Who is their problem? They should stop lying to our people that God will come from heaven and begin to help you to build infrastructure in your land. They should stop deceiving our people. They may be taking tight. I don't care. They may be sowing seed and also tell people to pay for the water, to water the seed. That is none of my business. But the one thing I want them to always tell our people the truth. Manna can never fall from heaven. And nobody can place hand on your forehead and bless you. It's impossible. Man should walk. You must walk. If you don't walk, you can never be able to put food on your table. And whenever you seek, don't go to, to one pastor to pray for you. Take your loved one to hospital. Take your loved one to hospital. Don't let your loved one be dying in silence to the extent that that sickness will take all over his body. At the end, they will tell you to go to hospital. As far as the sickness started, take your loved one to hospital. Nothing, no blessing. There is nothing like that. Nothing like that. But let me go further because that is not the reason why I'm here. I'm here to talk about our people in Lagos State. They are destroying the properties of our people today in Lagos. And we have been saying this time without number. But I something I want to explain to our people, some of you that don't understand, I know I have once think about that before, that Lagos is no man's land. This is how I was thinking before. Because I am one Nigeria before. I thought that this is the way it is. But as time goes on, I begin to understand that we are not one people. That is why you should understand this. If you remember what the people general, Dean Odume Bochuku, told our people when they were building, is it not a, a what is this market in Lagos? I've forgotten the name now. I have run away. Um, can somebody remind me the, 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 the market? I think uh, I've forgotten. Let me watch through my phone so that people can also comment. Let me see the comments of people. So that I can be able to get the, I think, uh, I wish can, uh, one big market in Lagos. I've forgotten the name. If somebody please can write the name, please, I can be able to remember it, please. Check the volume. It's fairly low, okay? Let me check my volume. Is it okay now? Is my volume okay now? I don't know. If it's not, if it's low, uh, there is nothing I can do about it. We are going to take it just like that. It does not matter. Yeah, the volume is okay by here. Can somebody write the name of the the trade fair? Thank you, my brother. Thank you, Shioma Jerry. Thank you very much. Trade fair. Our Dean Odume Wojuku, the people general, when they called Dean Odume Wojuku after 19, uh, 1967 to 1970, the genocidal war against the Biafran people. Our Dim Odume Wojuku came back from exile and they called this man to come to Lagos in trade fair to open trade fair for them. Our Dim get there. The man began to cry. He said, our people can never learn. Dim Odume Wojuku was crying. 
that who did this to our people? Does it mean that this alamajiri they are saying, is it our people, the alamajiri, why we are calling other people alamajiri? Because that is something I don't even understand. Are we the alamajiri calling people alamajiri? That is what our dean saw and he began to cry. Tell our people to come back home. It does not matter. If you import your goods in Lagos, if you takes you 20, but that is why I'm trying to tell our people. Most of our people is the problem. But Dean told them, buy the market. You know, go to Wharf. Clear your goods. It does not matter how much they build you. Take your goods to your land. Now put the price back again so that you can be able to get your money. But our people will say, no, some of our people, then we, they will say, as you are uh, taking your goods to Biafra land, some in Lagos will say, yeah, I'm making money more than you. Before your goods, you don't know that this is not the way. Now today, it begins to happen. Today, we are seeing it koro koro. And like I said, I am one of those people who are thinking before that Lagos is no man's land. I was thinking about this before. But for over 10 years ago, I begin to, you know, rethink and ponder and begin to, you know, reason that what what are you talking about how can you say that lagos is no man's land of course you some of us that are still thinking so today i'm not saying that you can never think so because after the amalgamation of nigeria after 1960 independent from the british which is today we are not yet free they use lagos as the federal capital People were trooping there. And uh, I still begin to rethink that upon they kill all our people, they massacre, they massacre our people in northern part of Nigeria. After the war just ended, our people begin to troop back to northern part of Nigeria. That is something I don't understand what is wrong with our people. There is something wrong with our people. There is something wrong with our people. And we must go and find the root of our, our problem. I, th I think this thing that is happening to us is spiritual. Because I can't see our people, they are killing them every single day. Another one, you will see they kill your brother, they destroy market. Your brother now will say, it's my turn. Because they destroy the business of your brother. Now you will say, ah, this is my chance to make money. Before you will grow, they will come, then we destroy all your market. Our people supposed to begin to reason. Let us redeem my people. Let us just reason for once. Now, I'm going to show you people different things today. So when I was saying, when am I saying like something that I'm saying? After that war, they push everything to northern part of Nigeria. Now they will tell you that oil in Jigawa, oil in Bayasa, belongs to Jigawa. Oye in Biafra land belongs to Lagos people also and the other part of that contraption called Damirebu Zoo. But now Lagos belongs to them. This is the definition of what you are seeing today. And some of our people, don't, they don't even want to reason. I remember the, the you know, some... I don't know what to call it. I say that I have come in peace this time around. I don't want to begin to use some words to our people. I remember what the Johannes Ndibo said the beginning of this election. They said if an Igbo man never become, uh, become elected as a president of Nigeria, now they will know that they hated them in Nigeria and they don't want them to belong. And now they will, you know, uh, strategize about what they are going to do. Today, what is happening? They never done anything. And my uh, one other you are welcome. Your voice is very. Your voice is not round. What did you mean? Check your telephone. I am getting it clear. Okay, they will. I don't want that kitchen kitchen. Forget about these people. As far as you are getting it clear, uh, they have to check their phone or you use your ear earphone. You can use your earphone to listen, please. Uh, like I said, nobody pays me. 
I have told you people here, unfortunate adopted son of Afaruku Ibeku. Is he talking about what they are doing today in Lagos? The answer is no. They are running around talking about money. Now you understand what I'm saying. Nobody pays me. So if you don't listen to it, it's okay. You open your this thing, you go and listen. I don't, you see me. I have gotten to that level that I told me, fell you and I want me see. Again, I'm coming to preach the gospel. You're trying to hide your volume also. So, Ohane Zendibo said this. I want you to know that everything that you are doing, you have to stand on your words. Lagos people, when they started this voting, they said, they told Igbo people, and that is exactly what they are doing, because they stand on their word. They told you, if you don't vote Tinubu, after the election, they are going to deal with you. So can't you see that what, that is exactly what is, is happening today? Why are you blaming them? It's your leaders in Biafra land that uh, started all this thing. What have they done? Have they told you people to begin to pack your properties and come back? No, the answer is no. Have they told you to stand on your ground and start from there? And you know the worst part of it? They are doing all these things to our people. And our people will be running back. They will be destroying your market. You are running back. They will be killing you. You are running back. It's only Igbo man. They will be killing his brother. Or they will be beating his brother. He will, he will go there where they are having a problem with the Aosa man or Yoruba man with his brother. He will be telling his brother, no, but you don't have to do this now. You don't have to do that now. He's supposed to take it easy. But an Aosa man will come there without doing anything. He has already supported his brother. They will finish the fight first before they will know what is happening. Dissenting Yoruba people. Only Igbo man will come and begin to blame his brother at the same point that he knows that bro his brother never done anything wrong. He will begin to castigate his brother in, in front of his, the person that is want to kill his brother. Oh boy, you know, do I well now? Oh boy, you know, be so now? Oh boy, you know, no be so then they do I'm oh boy? Oh boy, you know, this thing where you do I know like I'm oh. Oh, but you could have waited first. Let uh, we know. But they are there beating you. It's a time that we're supposed to understand our problem. My question now is, Oluomo, uh, Oluomo come out, pop and plain, begin to tell you, if you don't vote to Nubu, they are going to chase you out. And they have begun to practicalize what they said. That means these people have balls and goals. Just imagine if Tinubu did not want this election at all. Just imagine what is going to happen. Do you think that if Obi won this election and I sit as a governor in Abuja, as a president in Abuja, do you know what is going to happen to Igbo people? You don't know. You don't know. Just thank God a little bit that Tinubu just won the election. They are just destroying only your market. But it's time that our people are supposed to learn. Our people have to learn by fire, by force. Or no, no, they want now one also. A pot as an affair, ban a woman, they won't walk him. A suba serapi and on what he homine. A pot as an affair, ban a wa afia one, they won't walk or co. Nezusi safa one, they won't walk. You will say it's not my own. You must be a stupid idiot by saying so. Full and he don't do so. Yoruba people don't do so. It's only Igbo speaking Biafra. They want to use the downfall of their brothers to stand. And he's playing Koro Koro. Igbo man will come to Europe and tell you, I have succeeded. Let others die. Igbo man is the only one that can say so. And it's abomination to us. I am telling you the truth. I know some of you won't like what I'm saying. I am also an Igbo man. But we understand. Because if you don't learn from your past mistake, there is no how you are going to correct your future. There is no how. You can never. You cannot. That is why they are treating us like this in that contraption. And after this thing will happen, finish now. 
as they are burning market because i'm going to show you people some things like i said how many minutes have i used let me see because i want to be using time okay 21 minutes i want to be using time i don't want to go and begin to flood issues no as they are burning market now after they will finish it the second day Igbo man will still move there those people that they haven't get chance to get to that business or they are waiting for the downfall of their brother as this thing just end now then go still run back and go and meet some yoruba people and begin to pay them start business start building again after they will build finish they will still come and destroy all their business you see uh, i want you people to understand this i have no problem with anybody even yoruba people know but one thing I want you people to know, the reason why they are burning your market, destroying your properties is because you are not one people. Any day you understand this, that you are not one people, that anything you are doing, you must mind your business. When you are building infrastructure, you must mind your business in another man's land where they don't want you. That is when you weigh everything we are saying will come. Because some of you don't learn. Now let us see what is happening in Lagos. And uh, what Yeson Wike said. I have told you people again that Yeson Wike is a double agent. Yeson Wike will come and say, and then there by, and then there by, and then there by. It's a lie. And sometimes, I wonder why what our people from coastal region always think about their brothers from hinterland. Who is domineering? Jonathan came as a president. They voted Jonathan. The whole Southeast, as they call them, voted Jonathan. 95%. That is why today, the hinterland of Biafra are suffering from the hands of Bugari, APC. Now, Obi came out. As a presidential candidate, even by even even River State, he couldn't make it in River State. Akwai I don't think he make it there. But when Jonathan as let me put it that way, because our people always like us to put things the way it's supposed to be. Let me put it in that form as a Jonathan as a coastal region of Biafra. But Jonathan, when he came as a president, he won the whole five states of Eastern region. I mean, the five states of Biafran people. I mean, the so-called Eastern region of Igbo speaking Biafra. He won all the whole state, isn't it? Now he come in Obi. Did Obi won the whole state in coastal region? The answer is no. So who hate each other? I want to ask you people. We are brothers. We are all brothers. I don't lie about it. They have deceived you enough that you're supposed to begin to reason and understand that these people don't want good for you. I'm not telling you if we become there, it's going to change anything. But on the head, you know, came there. Now you see how you hated your own person since 1967. That uh, our brothers from coastal region. Take all the whole abandoned properties of their own brother from hinterland. Up to date, they are still bacchanizing their brains against their own brothers. When I say this, some people will say, I don't know what I'm saying. When Omar is in now, they cannot come out. We are going to talk about the five states. I'm telling you the truth. We are going to talk about the five states. In five states of Biafra land, is more bigger than a lot of countries in Europe. Austria is a is a what they call it a, a dot a dot country as a Biafra they call Biafra, but they have drilled all their places that the sheep can enter. We can also drill our own like that. What are you people talking about? Don't we have a River Niger? Can't we drill River Niger that they it will be carrying everything? What are you people saying? Those of our sisters and brothers that are, are part of the, Yes, I know some people will say that you won't, you won't like what I'm saying. You won't like it. You will not like it. But he's playing Korokoro. He's playing Korokoro. 
that you hated your brother so tell that you, you leave your brother Nelson Wicked is there deceiving all of you. Or now at the end, a carry vote to go and give uh, Tifubu. Now he's now begging you back to come and vote him. Look at the game they are playing. He will tell you to go and vote uh, what they call it. Go and vote. Um, um, you should go and he want uh, power to come to the south. He will be telling he, you he don't care if it's uh, east or west, but let it come to, 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 to south, which is APC. Now, a uh, governor election is coming. He now telling you to come and vote PDP. That you should come and vote umbrella. And some of our people now will still go from Yugosha, go and vote Wike. Listen to me. Let me tell you people one thing before I will start showing the video. Anything APC in Biafra land, don't go there at all. Anything PDP in Biafra land, don't go there at all. I'm talking about the five states in Biafra land. I'm talking about five states in Biafra land. I don't care. Listen to me. I don't care. Like as Igbo man can say, eh, he have, uh, I have, uh, uh, I have, uh, what they call it. I have, I have the opportunity. Uh, let others die. I don't care. I don't care. He have shown you in your life. In your eyes, the second in command of Biafran restoration project is from Akwaibon, Philip Effion. Obi couldn't win in that state. You know, see, oh my God, I don't know why, 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 because I have confirmed it. I confirm it. They said that it's true. That Bugari told Mazen Nanbekano to come and take five states. They say it's true because I have confirmed it. When Mazen Nanbekano comes out this time around, if Tinubu can also offer us that five state, we are going to take it. We are going to push our leader to take it. When others of our brothers, if they're ready, they can come and join us tomorrow. In only five states, we are more than a lot of foreign countries here in Europe that they are doing fine. Luxembourg, we are more than them, isn't it? Even though Austria, probably we are going to be more than them. You know, when I'm saying all these things, some of you won't like it. I know it's going to pay, be paying some of our brothers and sisters that are from coastal region of Biafra. They are fighting for Biafran restoration project. I know, I know you will be feeling pain, but you don't have any power. You are just an individual. You are just an individual. There is, you see your contribution is doing well, but your contribution is going nowhere. How many of you are you in power? But the five states in Biafra land, if we say we want it today, we are going to get it. Then when the time comes, they will come. If they don't come, we move on. We move on. We move on. This is how it is. I don't know why you, we are going to be a brothers. And brothers is killing his brother. Don't want his brother to survive. Jonathan came there when they are massacring people in a, <coughs> in a Uguawosa. Who caused the problem? We believe it's an evil man. But if you check where this man came from, you know that it came from the coastal region of Biafra. Because of the sin of this man, they massacred our people. Now they call it Igbo man. Right? But when you come for us to unite, they will never allow us to unite. And our people don't want to listen. When you go to north, every north there are one people. When you go to west, every west we are one people. When you come to East, now we don't want to agree that we are one people. It's not. It's obvious that our people, nah, man, I don't know. Mazen Namdekano, I know when you come out, you are going to listen to us and uh, we are going to change things. Five state is enough. We can take it. We can take it. We have our sisters, our brothers, that they are working towards Biafran restoration project. They are 
accepted in hinterland of Biafra. And I believe as I am today, even though if you come in my father's, proper, my father's land, if I have a land, I can also give you a free land. I will give you a free land in my own way or in my one, I mean the one that I have. I will give you some land there to, for you to live. We have suffered and our brothers don't want to listen. Look at what Nwike did to his own brother. Nwike. You see bloggers. They are jumping around. Nwike is supporting uh, TP Tobi. Nwike at the end. Nwike left you behind. Now telling you to come and vote. Now keep on te now telling you to come and vote. Uh, you should come and vote. Uh, you should come and vote uh, umbrella now. But when he started, he don't want to support them. Tell me why Nwike don't support P2B. He just, you know, fighting for what he's going to gain. We are not here for that. We have suffered a lot. And uh, our brothers in, uh, let me begin to show videos, please. I don't want to talk too much. I want you people to see what is happening in Lagos in one of the biggest markets that uh, I saw one brother, a very good brother. Like I said, I don't hate Yoruba people. I don't hate common Fulanese. I don't hate Hausa people. But we have to understand that we are not one. When you understand that, things can work according. Don't let anybody deceive you. Don't let anybody deceive you. I love one of our brothers said. You are selling your land to an evil man. After you sell your land, you use the money to go and spread a musician. And tomorrow you want that evil man that bought your land to still be your tenant. A land that I have paid you. And you sign an agreement. <coughs> like people that are living in Europe today. I am not from Europe. I have a lot of people. I don't want to be using it like a bragging. But I just want to tell you this. We have a lot of our brothers and sisters in Europe today. They bought their own apartment. They bought their own house. You want to tell me that if you are living in France, a France man will come and tell you that this house is not belongs to you. Impossible. It can never happen. House is your house. Any day you want to sell it, you sell it. And none of a citizen will come and tell you that, eh, you are from Africa. You, this house you bought, you, you are, I'm going to tell you how you are going to live it. It's impossible. It never happened. It can never happen. As far as you pay and you have an agreement, if anybody try it here in Germany that even though I am from Africa, if I take that person to court as a citizen, he will go to prison. Remember that he is a citizen or she is a citizen. Now you understand. But in Africa, it's not the way it is. It's different. But let me show you people what is happening now in Lagos. I know that such a thing will happen. I waited for this because they told you, Oluomo told you, and when the election will end, they will also come to you and ask you, can you prove it? And he told you people, when you are going to vote, make sure you go with your phone. Snap picture. When they will come, you will show them. Now, Tinubu lost in Lagos. Now they begin to destroy as this thing is still happening, you will still see our people still standing there claiming Lagos is no man's land. We are going nowhere. One name. It won't go on your own. Bido kwa na oge shube yu di oji makachi jie. One name gahe won't hear. Not only you buy house in Lagos. Not only you have a property in Yoruba land. Ihe nja kwa ge habo. Just imagine that you were in 1967 to 1970. After the genocidal war ended, they give you only 20 pounds. <clears throat> and you bounce back 
and you stand so. Don't you think there is something in you that will always make you to bounce back? <laughs> you don't think about that. You will never think about that. You will never. Evil man. Let us see the video what is happening today. They will tell you where the thing is happening. This is happening live. Today, Wednesday, 8th March 2023. This is happening live. I carry a market. Olodia Papa Lagos. Yes. Burnt down completely. And the security man was killed. While he was begging them not to burn the market. What have these men do to them? What have these men done? Lamentation. They are not politicians. They are not getting from politicians. Nobody even remember them. Look at how Akere market is. Look at the streets of Akere. Very dilapidated. Nobody cares. No one knows. They are here just managing, trying to feed their family, trying to make ends meet. But the stupid politicians, when they finish eating the money, they collect the decent, they go and build houses, buy a certain car and drive. When the females that are suffering, you still come and attack them, destroy their properties. What are you doing this for? What is it for? You have gotten the ticket. What else do you want from the masses? What else do you want from these men? From these men, men that are trying to make and meet. What do you want from them? What is their faith? What is their faith? The children that you have taken away food from their, their table. They, they are crying, we have reached God, and you will pay for it. The cry of these children has reached God. Look at these men now. Look at how they are. Look at them. You Look see at how many they are. Them. Nigerian politicians. Nigerian politicians cool down for Jesus. There is God. You know, you know, you know, you know, I don't want to play it because I don't want to waste much of my time. There is something our people don't understand. That is why I'm, I always beg our pastors, those people that call themselves man of God, always tell your people the truth. If it's like the man of God we have in Biafra land are telling their people the truth, we are not going to be seeing all these things. Maybe by now our people, people we are going to have in the West, they are going to be only maybe 5% today. Maybe people we have in northern part of Nigeria, they are going to be 10% today. So it's not going to affect a lot of people. But they will be telling you, you see this our sister now. You say that is God do, like God will come from heaven and begin to help you. Man helps man. Every resources, every technology that you are waiting for God to bring, God has already put all these things in its place, which is It's for you now as a human to now begin to discover where it is. That is why we have scientists. That is why they discover this microphone that I'm using today. That is why they have discovered this computer that I'm using today. That is why they discover this phone that I'm using today. It's not God. It's not God. It's human. It's human. That is why when you go to your Bible, they said, Shukuo Kikabiam have created us on this earth to come and multiply. The earth is our, is our place. We are now to multiply. God is not going to multiply anything to you. If you told people maybe 1,000 years ago, that there would be something flying on the air with how many ton, like airplane, they will not believe it. But as time goes on, they begin to discover. That is human for you. But African people, they are still living primitive and the version of Christianity they brought to them. That is why we are dying every day. That is why things are happening to us. Nobody, they will keep on calling God. They will keep on calling God. You are calling God, but oh, Fulani came to rule you, which is Muslim man. Now the Muslim man is coming again to rule you. You are still calling God. Can't you see that that thing you are calling is not working the way you are thinking that it's working? Can't you see that it's not working? So you want to tell me that God is deaf now not to hear your prayer. You have to change your way. 
you don't have to keep on doing the same thing every single day and you are waiting for different results. It can never happen. You can't happen. It can't happen. It can't happen. Our leader, Mazen Nam Even though during Bugari, I thought after Bugari, say 15, uh, 95, 15 percent, that we Igbos guys are going to suffer. I thought our people could have been begin to use brain to come back. If you ask our people, they will tell you we don't care about government. You don't know that government affects everything. But your business, yes, you are not getting any benefit from government. But when they will come in power, it will affect your business that you are entrepreneur. Nobody employs you. Business is your own. Money is your money. House is your house. It will affect you when it comes. And that is exactly what is happening today. And our people don't want to learn. It's okay, we will keep on lamenting. You people may call it lament, but it's okay. Let me show you people what Mwike said. And you see the new version of Mwike. I want to show you people what Mwike said. This is when they asked Mwike. Mwike said, he can never join APC. He can never. Regardless, he can never. Today, he carried the vote of our people in River State. Like I said, when the election started, I told them, vote don't count. Our leader have said it. Mwike have given them his vote. And his vote is what counts. He will just go there and sign that we are giving them our vote. And that is exactly what has happened. Now let us see what Wiki said. And you people will also hear when Wiki was bargaining what Tinubu will do for him if he give him the vote. And he did give him the vote. And now he come back now telling you, going to Yibo speaking communities, telling them to vote for them in governorship. I am telling you people, anybody that they are in power, yes, on Wiki, the one of uh, Cross River State, because uh, they, they, that one they left him for a long time ago. After he left BDP, go and join APC. <clears throat> they left him. The Ateno is about to finish. And I will urge our people, anything APC, anything PDP, don't even go there. I wish that our leader was out here with us. Because we have tried many ways also. And I believe for us, the best thing for us now to be doing before, because we are also working towards the restoration of Biafra. We are going, we are supposed by now bringing somebody, you, now you go be there. We don't care about what you said. I don't care about who you are. If you say that this person will, we put him there. You understand what I'm saying? Now listen to what Winke said. Let us see Winke. Like to come out for PDP. Come on, go where? Things will change. We don't see it happen. I get the uh, malaria. My cancer is fine. Why do you talk like that? I get malaria. What do you use to treat? My woman got cancer. Why would I get it? Which party? If they win me, they win me. If I win them, I win them down. I need to run that body there. May I not send them to fit win me? I will not just go fight them there. But to leave PDP, where they malaria, go to peace, where they cancer. Come, and the state of the cancer, where they free PD, uh, APC, now the fourth state, where they say, Doctor, they talk say it's hard. If I want to say now first, make a call, call say okay. Let us stop it here. Let's stop it here. I don't want to waste most of your time uh, because all this thing is something that is already in public domain. But our our people will not listen. Let me bring up back again when Mike was negotiating with now APC. Remember what he said. He said, 
how can he left somebody that have malaria, which is a, a, P, a PDP have malaria, and go and join somebody that have cancer. Now you will see where a malaria now go and join cancer. You see, he was speaking Biafra. Learn now. We will they take now. Now we then they play this game. Oh, you know sometimes we are calling Biafra, Biafra, Biafra. All the people that are suffering all these things, they are Igbo speaking Biafra. There is no doubt about it. There is no doubt about it. It's only blind can tell you. Of course, we are calling Biafra. We are all one people. But it's the hinterland that are suffering this. Hinterland are those that are living their land. Why are you going away from their land? I know that there is no present government in Biafra land. But if we are in one accord, stand in our own, stand in our state, we can be able to raise something out of our state. All of us now will begin to join hand together. Somebody like where Joe uh, Hope or the man will come. We tell Hope or the man a lie. You want to know? You are not going. You are not going to stay here. We are going to tell you Guanya. You are not going to stay here. Now election is there. Dave Umahi now is bringing you who you are going to vote. That is why I'm making it clear. Nobody tells me what to come and nobody tells me what uh, I mean this thing that I'm saying now. I did not take it from the leadership. I'm saying my opinion. If you people in Biafra land, in five states, even though beyond five states, especially in river states, don't listen to Wiki. Any person that Wiki is bringing, don't listen to him. Anybody that Uguani is bringing to come and don't listen to him. Today now, Rogers Abogausa is crying. Begin to understand. But all of them, they are the same. Remember when Rogers Abogausa finished, he want to put his in-law. Oh my God. Let us see where cancer go and join, uh, malaria go and join cancer. And now, now that I'm going to APC, I'm leaving PDP to APC. Yes. See the reasons why I'm leaving PDP to join you. You see now. Tell me, are you willing to do all these things that people didn't do for me? What I mean for me, for my people, are you willing to do them? Yes, I'm willing to do them. Can you announce it to the public? Let them hear that this is why I'm feeling PDP. Because you say you will do this. Announce it to my people. If that is the case, then when I'm feeling PDP, you will see. The senators will go with me. Okay. The House of Reps will go with me. Now you see. The Assembly will go with me. Because it's for the interest of the state. It's for the interest of the region. Not when I go on my own to see how I can be protected. And be protected. Now it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You know, when I'm saying something, I don't want you to get confused. Every one of us listening with Wiki we are saying that uh, was saying that uh, how can I leave a, somebody that have a malaria and go and join who have cancer? Now he said it with also his mouth. What are you go now? I'm leaving PDP to APC. What are you going to give me? You know, you people can hear it, even though the deaf can hear this one, even though the blind can be able to touch it. Now, I want you people to understand this. Now, we cannot have come back again. This is our brother. This is our brother. I call it a brother. He said, Yoruba would do a man. This is the people I call brother. It's people that reasons. They reason very well. That is why I keep on telling my people that we are not one people. We are not. But kudos to this brother. This is the kind of people you can call saint. You know. Not. I saw Ebu Kobi. 
now using mic. Using Mazen Nam the Kano to sing. We have saw all these things many times. Our people are gullible. Our people are gullible. They are very, very gullible. Mbaka have come back from monastery. Begin to say thunder we, we, we sky, we, 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 we blow. We have heard about this many times. These people don't have gods and balls. Only for them to, you know, sometimes some people will be saying, why are you calling these people? Because they are my brothers. Ebu Kobi is my brother. Mbaka is my brother. I don't care about other people that you want me to, you know, to include them. No, I can't include them. Odumeje is my brother. That is why I'm calling them to be able to preach to our own people, their own people, the reality. They should face reality. But sometimes when I'm calling these people that they are my brother, you'll be telling me, why am I doing this? I'm not doing nothing. Only for them to always stand on the truth. Tell their, pro their people their problem so that they will know what is their problem. This is the brother that I so much love. I love him. He's a Yoruba do a man. Listen to him. I swear to God, I don't understand what's going on I'm with some of my brothers. With all this Igbo, this Igbo, that. Nigeria is the only place I've seen where a landlord sells his father's inheritance, sells his land, sells his property, takes the money to go and spray with you. And then he turns around, still expecting those who bought the land from him, those who bought the property from him, to continue to bow down to him and treat him as if he's still the landlord. If you don't like Igbos taking over properties in Lagos, Stop selling your father's property to them. You cannot sell and then still be expecting that the new buyers are going to behave or come and ask you for instructions on how to behave on the land they just bought or to ask for your permission on what they need to do in the place that they now own. That's retarded. Stop selling your father's inheritance to go and spray with you. If he's paying you. And... Uh... And now, our brother has spoken well. And I want to tell the Biafran people, my brothers, stop buying. Our brother spoke well. He told their people, stop selling. Now I'm telling my people, stop buying. Don't be idiot. Don't let your idiocy push you. Stop buying. Stop buying. Stop buying. Stop buying. Stop buying. Stop buying, stop buying it. Stop buying it. Stop buying it. Use your brain. Stop buying it. A Yoruba man have talked to their own people. But why are you buying it? Why are you buying it? My question is, why are you buying it? Why? Why are you buying the house then? Why are you buying the property then? Why can't you go there and rent a shop, go to your, house, go to your, your village and build your mansion? Keep your money in your bank. Why are you building mansion from here and there? Why? Why? Why are you buying every places? Why? Swamp you go and buy. You cover. Uh, this thing you go and buy. You cover. You go and buy. Only you. Only Igbo people. Only Igbo people. Igbo people. Igbo people. Igbo people that don't want to learn. Only Igbo people. No other tribes. No other. Even though the Awasas in Yoruba land, believe you me, as rich as they are, I will tell you the people, Hausa people that build house in Lagos, they are not up to 5%. The Yorubas that build house in Biafra land, they are not up to 1%. But when you go to our place, you will see a lot of our brothers and sisters, they never build house in their village, in their land, but they have built mansions. He asked them tomorrow, he said, it's no man's land. Now you are finding it so difficult to understand that Yoruba is a man's land. Now you understand it. I don't care what you can call me. You may be my brother, have a property in Yoruba land. Do you think I care? I don't care. I don't care. So I want our people to always understand my point. 
I'm not coming here to make you feel bad, but I will always tell you the real reality and you have to face it. It's only IPOB are only people that will tell you the truth. We will tell you the truth and only truth can set us free. Nothing else can set us free. Only truth. By you knowing that we are not one. By you knowing that you will stop buying houses, stop buying land, stop buy buying swamps and covering it. Stop it. I saw a woman. He was abusing Igbo people. Ojuku warned them. Mazen Namdekan warned them. I want that car good. Chuku Kikabi Amagoziono Shanine. On your open an album for Biafra to come. All of you that have been preaching this gospel of redemption, all of you have been preaching this gospel of freedom to our people, all of you that have been preaching for our people to be able to reason and understand, because what makes us a human is ability to reason. If you lack that ability, believe you, me, animal is better than you. And Chukwo Kikabiyama will bless every one of you for us. Because you people have been doing this from the day one. Mazen Namdekano is today in DSS Dungeon. A man that can be able to speak for you. None of you are saying something. You are busy there. Business. Hey, ego. Hey, ego. Hey, ego. Hey, ego. Ah. Uh, one eba a chop obo roko na ke ke eko si aga. Eh, ima nandi a chop obo roko na. You know, they don't have money again now. Eh, uh, one eh, uh, how did they sell the land now now, you know? Uh, one uh, Shagun will come tell them, eh, oh boy, uh, you don't have to know. You know, say these people where their child bend now, they don't have money again. Oh, oh boy, now your chance, oh, ah, na chance, oh, ah, hey, eh, na chance, oh, you see our people putting money. But a place they bend the business of their own brother, they begin to buy it back. Who did this to us, my people? Who did this to us? You see, my anger towards our people. Things supposed to be happening to people once, then you understand. But in our own case, things have been happening to us million times. And up to date, we don't want to learn. We are using the downfall of our brothers and sisters to stand. I told you people, after you stand tomorrow, then we have excuse again to come and begin to destroy it. And you are not going to do anything. Dearly, dearly. Dearly, dearly. I saw our brother Speed Darlington. He said a very good word. He's not an IPOB. But now the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, his video is trending. I thank him for, for that video that he did. But this thing that he said, Mazen Nandekano have said this thing. Am I saying Mazen Nandekano? Our people's general, Dim Odumegoju, who have said this. Do you know when Dim Odumegoju who said this thing? Do you know when? Mazen Namdekano come again, started it. As Mazen Namdekano started, he call us, we start, we join him, we call, we still saying the same thing. They will burn our papa today. Ohanez and we come out uh, <coughs> and make a press release. Uh, we don't want this thing to happen again. Uh, tomorrow, a new will happen. Another one will happen. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't know which kind of species that we are. I don't know if, is it what Mazen Namdekano is telling us that we are? I don't know if that's true, that's who we are. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if we are what Mazen Namdekano is trying to say that we are. I don't know. Maybe Mazen Namdekano is saying about IPOB. He may, when he's saying only IPOB, he may be right. He may be right. But what he's saying to us that we are the age, I don't, I'm, 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 I begin to have some little bit doubt. Because these things have happened to our people many times. How many times things will happen to you? You will begin to learn. I have said it. Anything APC, anything PDP, in Biafra land, Dave Umahina is campaigning. Dave Umahi is campaigning in a in a in a boy. Full and a boy. 
is campaigning for PAPC to come. I want you people from en 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 Enugu Ebony to stop him. Stop him. If you don't want to feel the pains, killing and maiming of your people, stop Dave Umahi. Stop him. Go there and find your choice. Apart from APC and PDP, reject them. Reject them. I say reject them. The same thing also applied to Nyeso Wike that is calling you people to come and vote APC, a, a, a PDP after they have given River State to Fulani. Now he come now to governorship. He's telling you to, I want you all to reject him. Reject APC. Reject PDP. I am telling you, this is only advice I want to give to you. This is not from the leadership. This is my own opinion. I know some of you won't like it. Some of you will be saying now, are you now into election? I am not, but I'm telling you how are you going to be able to use your sense? The same thing is happening in uh, Ugwane. This is in Abia State or where, where, where is the one that, that, that is pregnant already. It's now bringing you to come. Don't even go there. Don't allow APC and PDP to come near to you because these people are evil. Don't let them near to you. Believe you me, if our people can be able to come out one day and bring one person, Enugu, thank you, Ada. Thank you, Ada. Ubuanyi from Enugu. Now telling you to come and vote APC. His tenor is about to finish. Now he's telling you to come and they vote APC that you are dying. They are killing you. APC that rule you for complete eight years. They have denied you everything in totality. The same APC now they are telling you they are coming. And some of you will sheepishly and go and vote APC. Listen to me. I am telling you people in my own opinion, don't even go there at all. APC is evil. PDP, they are the same thing. Find somebody else. Find somebody else. Maybe it will help you. Maybe you will see a new way. We have tired in all this nonsense. Don't listen to them. Let me see my time because, like I said, we have defeated the autopilots. Eberima said today that he is going to open a reaction groups everywhere. I, 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 I tell him to go ahead. But this is what we have been telling him from the day one. Now he knows that he has failed woefully. Now he was waiting for the revolt of uh, Nigerian people after the Nwiri Gobi. Now he sees that nothing is working. Where is it very much today? Nowhere to be found. He disappeared. All of them. Like I said, that is why I don't want to talk about them. Because they are now dead. How go? Or to reduce well, nobody will talk about them again. Now they see that they now they left another problem again for all of us, and we are going to face it because we have been doing this from the day one without anybody paying us. Now you understand what I'm saying. And the one they call unfortunate adopted child from Afaruku Ibe, is there yapping, talking all sort of rubbish. Somebody called me this morning. That is now that is not how I will shy away from that. I am from Ihala in Anambra, Anambra in Biafra land. Somebody sent me a message today that Ihala woman leader was adopted today. That Ihala is on fire. I don't know how authentic that information is. I did not get any video. Nobody direct from Ihala that contacted me to tell me that such a thing is happening. But I want them to get me the what is happening. You know, I cannot be here talking about other states and where I am from. I'm not going to talk about it. It's not going to be, it's not going to be right. So I'm urging the Ihala people that if he, this thing that I said now, if it's true, I will like you people. My number is everywhere. You can get my number and forward me things that is happening in Ehala where I'm from so that I can be able to also tell our people because it's obvious. You know, I can't be saying things and things will happen to our people even though I was wondering that does it mean that some people in Ehala local government that are around there, they don't even know who I am 
upon almost 10 years that I've been broadcasting in one of the biggest platforms that we have on the social media. You can't even forward me some information as an ahal that is a, a somebody that is a, <clears throat> a, a media a media pers person in, 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 uh, in this social, I mean, in IPOB. A media personnel in IPOB. You can't even forward me the information for me to talk, it, talk about it. I have to get it from somebody else. Please, I want you people, if anybody gets it, you should forward it to me so that we are going to also talk about it because it's very, very important. Let me see how many hours I have used because I don't want to waste, take much of your time so that, um, because... Uh, Okay, 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 okay. Let me see. Okay, I have used one hour. Uh, let me add more or uh, 15 minutes. So we are going to call it a day. So I want, let me show another video of what Wiki have done now. Wiki now went back now. Begin to tell you to come and vote. Come and vote. Come and vote. Uh, he said this time around. See them. See, see this one. See this one here. See, see some... See some more, see them. Now, I don't want to bring their voice here. See them. I'm whoever that has no shape. Use your breaching cream to destroy herself. This is the people that are talking to Biafran people. Now they are using you people to play ping pong. We are now, we are now, what, I, what am I going? We are now, we are now Alamajiri. This is who, you know, we, we say the truth always and down the consequences. Some of you won't like what I'm saying, but we are now alamajiri that they are chasing us anyhow they like. They tell you to do this. Anyhow they like, they, they will push you here. Tomorrow after they push our people, they will still go back and rethink and come again and begin to buy the, the lands. <laughs> our people. Ay, oh. Let me bring this one so you will see. This is a, a man that is telling our people, wait, oh, there is some man, you see this man now, you know when you say something, like I said, well, I'm going to talk about you. This is something that I want Mbaka to be telling our people. This is, you know why I'm calling these people, not that these people are powerful, they are not powerful, they don't have power. All of us, we have no power. These people have no power. We are just men, human being. Mbaka is powerless. Ebukobi is powerless. Like as me myself, I'm powerless. Because if say they have power, a man I don't know in some African country today, they claim to be Jesus Christ of somewhere. Now Easter is about to come, and there are people now are saying, "Come, we are going to crucify you." You say that you are Jesus, isn't it? We are going to crucify you, so you are going to go to heaven. The man now is reporting to police that his life is in danger. But the man will be in his church preaching to people the, the kingdom of God. But he's here building mansions. That is where my problem is. You are preaching to people in Biafra land or in everywhere in that contraption, telling them that uh, uh, you don't have to do anything in this earth. You have to live your life. You don't have to walk. You don't have to do this uh, when you die. But the pastor or man of God is here driving private jet. But you are preaching to them that heaven, why can't you go and die? Nkana, or what is his name? This Fulani man, a Muslim man that turned to Christian. They called the... Uh, what is his DC jot name? What, uh, somebody should write it here. Yeah, so Suleiman. Suleiman escaped dead because of bulletproof. But Suleiman is there promising the people. The Suleiman that is kneeling down, praying for Ukraine up to date. There are still fight in Ukraine. There is still a fight today in Ukraine. He protected himself with bulletproof. But he will come to his congregation begin to sell water to people that water will heal them Suleiman will begin to sell stickers to our brothers and sisters to begin to to paste on their door that when criminal is coming the sticker will chase them away Suleiman will bring olive oil that i'm using here to cook every single day he will give it to them to use it to protect themselves while Suleiman is there using bullet car bulletproof protecting himself you see what i'm saying that is my problem that is my problem that is my problem. But some of you will not understand what I'm saying. 
Some of you will begin to defend them. You are calling them your daddy G.O. You are defending them. Why are you defending them? And you know that everything I'm saying is the truth. But you are there defending them. The same thing that I'm telling Ebukobi, you just come out and we are going to watch this man now. That is exactly what I want them to be saying. Tell them who is their problem. Don't tell them that God is their problem. Don't tell them that their ancestors is their problem. There is nothing like ancestors, their problem. Ancestors is not their problem. Chukwoki Kabiyama, God is not their problem. It's human being like me and you, which is they are also the problem. But they will come there and begin to deceive you. Your ancestors sell you on slave. That is the sin of your ancestors. It's disturbing you today. And some of you will be there sheepishly listening to them. Let us listen to a man. I will also, I will also call this man, if you are calling somebody man of God, this is the man I will also tell you, he is a man of God because he speaks the truth. Man of God is for you to speak the truth and believe in Chukwu Kikabiyama who created heaven and earth and nobody created him. Now you understand what I'm saying. Let us listen to this man. Cross River, Amage Rivers, Obon Non, a body state, Pancha Potacha, Hawa Pancha Dinana, Pito Bidana LP, Oyibo, and I to see a candy would mean a so Korea. No, you take Hyena, so Chuku, Wedia, Guinea, Oyana Kuniok, Ndini, Wesu, Yarol, and Amibo, Kuniok, Ndini, useful idiot, Kuniok. President. Let us stop it here. I will tell you, they won't numb. 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 This is the kind of people that I listen to. Let me also check my time once again. This is the people you call man of God. I will accept it because the reason. There is. They don't come to deceive you. They tell you the truth. They tell you the truth. Some of them are there telling you to come and sow seed. After you sow seed, feed it, you will see a book. Can somebody tell me which kind of nonsensical is like what do, can you tell me what does that mean? Do you know that that guy is a, he was doing incantation of uh, devilish I know that the one I said, Koji we epota, jena agwe agwe na ase na maya na na ya anwona o, ma ase na mde kanyo ne na na ya anwona o, kan webte e bode, kan webte e bode, kan webte e That thing, for me, is just nothing. For me, it's just nothing. It's just deceive. Kono sekwa no ne mena lie. You come out as this man, he begin to tell your people, listen my people, Yeni na na agbago, yeni no no na dagale se na na. Una na won yeni no na amatu. Una na bakwa ga ke dagale e cannot save us. A one pastor also said one day, for you to be rich, prayer can never make you rich. How can prayer make you rich? Yeah? Let me bring Ebe Bikobi na on a amame ho na ko. He on many here about to for us to draw sympathizer to make us to believe that uh, he know what he's saying. No 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 no. That is not what I know here. You know, I don't like uh, I don't like pampering. <laughs> Hi, good morning. I brought this one. I this one. I forget.
Obro na afro ya forget ya. Afro me body, I forget ya. Oh yo bona forget the video. E bona sana ni na mazi na nam de kanon. So today ke bu ko bi ma na ni mazi na nam de kanon ni awona. Have we not been saying this? They die because of the trauma of Afaruku Ibeku when they came with battalions and fighter jets to assassinate Mazen Namdekan. He claimed the life. We saw it. Now, Kopta Zri, because I know you say, go, up to now, say, go, eh, niana, niana, ke kobale aka. I don't do that. I don't, I'm not a follow, follow people. I will always stand on the truth. Regardless, some of you won't believe it. Some of you will say that I don't know what I'm telling you, people. That is why we are backward today. Please uh, close. That is why we are backward. In Europe, such a thing can never happen. I'm telling you, people, if we hear Buko be name, like old Tunsi are going on, I will not one day on an edge, and I hear not one day that now. They don't have other people like them in Nigeria. No. I'm talking to those that they are my brothers. They are one name. They are my brothers. I hope tomorrow one name Kahabo. And I can never deny them. They are my brothers. But I want them to change. I if Rebu Kobi name on Baka in Otra see Abu Kobi na Mosia us other to if I'm new many a letter of invitation. Ban Ebu Kobi na many a letter of invitation as in Germany here. Yabia, Meji said, I get me hall. I get me hall. And I know that there are a lot of Zionists here, or Zion, I don't know what they I know they have a lot of them here. I challenge him, I will give him a letter of invitation. If you doubt me, I will also pay for his ticket. Kobia here, co host too. Yame Bende Marika Oda, Kono Obuna, Ekabia Huburi Ozubo, Ifreke, police, Ato Yanga, Omrikaga Ato Yanga, Yame Buna gave the port here straight. They will deport him. They will deport him because they know that this is not the way. You are just deceiving people. Anama Gono, call to Eba Uncle now. Send the Ario Bikobi. Let us try it. I will send him letter of invitation. I will pay his ticket. Let him come to Germany and perform those things that he's performing. Open a cable here, here. Like as I said, but I have a shot to everything down. I send the air back to home. And their baggage will send their deportation camp. Kogano, Ibunaya. Suleiman told you people that he was in praying. He was praying. Somebody that he, we, somebody that was in the toilet in Italy appeared in Germany. And a lot of people were saying hallelujah. Black people. But it's okay. What can I say? I don't know. I'm not much cook I'm not cook. I'm not look at a nazi you can search it on zion ministry what am i what am i going to zion you are you listen to me if you are coming here i so you think i don't know where it's, i can search what you are very stupid how if even though you are supporting me you think i can i care i want you to cut it to go and give to him because when you cut it to him it will get to him straight away I will do everything. I will pay his ticket. I will organize. I will find a place that will do it. Let him perform. Or less, I'll be here. We all got them. I'll get better. No, my better. I'll be here, brother. Y'all try. Y'all come out of that here. I'll be a boy. I'll call you. I'll call you. They are my brothers. I'm telling them the truth. Like I said, they are my brothers. I can't lie. They are my brothers. I will keep on telling them the truth. Let me see how many hours I use. Let me. Oh, yeah, now see, see people that I'm trying to give brain. He say you can search it on Zion ministry. I can search what, but you are there. I'm telling you the truth. Do you ever do you really know that what I'm telling you is true? Do you know how this thing come up? Okay, do you know that I'm telling you, I'm telling you the truth? You, you yourself, you don't even know that I'm telling you the truth because you are in Africa with a primitive life, dark ages. Thinking that those things that they told you in Bible or those things that they perform in Bible is still happening today. No. All those things in the right sense of it, everything that happens in Bible is something that they, according to the Bible, they use it to tell you what is going to happen 
when uh, God will come back again, uh, Jesus Christ will come back again. That is what they, they are just giving you things that will happen. That is why some people will tell you uh, what God does not do does not exist. Where is he? Where is um, Baka today? Are they not going to? Why can't they restore the P2B? I see Kari Chaplet. Obugodu, Obugodi here. Ana, 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 let me find where I went to Rome. Let me show you Rome. Rome, a lot of you people will travel. You will say that you are going to Holy Land. Let me show you that place that uh, Kiafia. Uh, is it uh, Pope John Paul II or three? He's making his, uh, uh, taking his mass. Let me show you where I was there. As a tourist, though, because I'm a traveler. Let me show you for you to see. Obuno in Africa, when I cross there, they will say, no. Don't take picture there. It's a holy land. Don't even go to the altar. Don't even cross there. See me on that altar. Very, very. Is my time over? Wow, my time is over. Let me see if I can see it straight away. Um, the Biafran child. Um, let me go to photos. No, no, I think it will be in King Simon. Let me go to photos. I don't know why I did not. Uh, I want to show you people. I hope I can find it straight away. Let me go to the other place. All this place only have one guy. The day that I went there now, I saw some African people. They are from Nigeria. They are from Africa. All of them, they were coming. As they were coming, if you see how they were holy, and I got holy, holy. Neneba has said these people, definitely they must come from Africa. There's no two ways about it. They are from Africa. You tell them, they say, we are in holy land. In holy land of Rome. Rome, we are there. Eben no there and there's a picture. Ne ne pose guy um and I'm an nonsense. One day you will see a book, you will go there. He will you will snap a picture. He will bring it for you people, telling you it's in the holy land. And I keep your story on Naja Holy Land. Let me see if I can be able to find it straight away. Let me show you people. Nah. This in, is this in Instagram or what? Where did I post it? Oh, I have a lot of pictures. I have a lot of pictures. I have a lot of pictures. Wow. No, 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 no. I can't find it. Probably, maybe I'm going to post it. Travel is part of education. Let me go straight in Instagram. Maybe it's there. Adan Keshin Kechu, who is I should uh, block? Let me see the person who said I should block. Who, 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 who I should block? Who, who, who? Let me see him before. I'll begin to drop this video. Why I can't find the name of the person? Nkechi, Nkechi. Where is the person? I can't I can open the person. Why? Okay. Okay. Also now, he's a shoe. Okay. Ogabagi, idiot. On Aga Holy Land. Let me see if I can find it in uh, Instagram. I don't know where can I find this picture very easy. I have a uh, I'm a, 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 I'm a traveler. I travel, I travel, I travel a lot. I so much love to travel. That is why in every year, I travel no lesser than, uh, lesser than uh, three countries in a year. And I spend a lot of money because that is my life. I have come to understand that we have one life. So, keana koifa, mbube go buche go debe, ufu mwa mobia tomorrow, ule go ni nantra afu squanda, akobi o blue story. Let me see if I can be able to find it on this uh, Instagram. Maybe it will be here. It 
See, I'm here. Thank God. See, I'm here. This is where this uh, Pope John Paul on an Akoka. This is the altar. This is inside the church. This is inside the church here. Inside the church. This is inside. The, you see how I pose there. Take picture. You see how I pose. Inside the church. This is a uh, room. Uh, uh, Kiana body. Kiana that place. Uh, Kiana body that place. Vatica. This is Vatica. This is where they are praying in Vatica. In Vatica. This is all my pictures. This is all my pictures. I am a traveler. See it here. I'm a traveler. I travel a lot. I travel a lot. I travel a lot. I travel a lot. Because I like to travel where, where that is a, see I'm here. For you people not to doubt it. That is one of the, the oldest church in Rome. Because they have a lot of churches there. Because you know that they are the people that are operated all this Roman Empire. They have a lot of tourist attraction. In Rome, there is a lot of tourist attraction. Are you, what are you talking about? What are you people talking about? What are you talking about? We are in Europe that I've never been. Or England, call Paris, call this thing. Where I'm planning to go last night, or London, is it not to your own In London, I have to. I want to see if I can be able to see all the whole world before war. That is my, my aim. Because I know that this life is war. I greet you great people of Biafra, like you people being here. Here is Austria. I've been everywhere. Here is Austria. I am a traveler. I am a traveler. And I am on an here. This is a wordy square in, uh, in London. I don't know what they call it, a tiny square in London. This is it. I'm there. My people, I greet you all. Like I said, our people should start doing the right thing. I have no problem with our people. Only what I have is for them. This is London Eye. This is London Eye. Inside London Eye. That is where I am. I'm a COVID. It's a COVID. It's on Gosunu London Bridge. Where is London Bridge here? If I I still have the picture, can show you the London Bridge. Now COVID, yeah COVID. Debanya. Debanya. I thank you all. Our people should learn and understand that we have one life. Live your life. Don't let people deceive you. Stop paying money to all these man of dogs. Stop buying the uh, olive uh, olive uh, water. Mbun chokwa na mbuteloni ya here. Olive oil be henge limni. I will prove it now. Koga lebe na mna tuas. Look at it here. I'm using it to eat. This is 10 kilo. This is what they are selling. And this is a special from extra virgin olive oil. This is special from Greece. This is special because Greek, they did, they are the people that have the real original one. You see it here. Five, five liter. Okay, I it. This one is not open. This is All this thing I understand the real one. For you to buy. For you to use. To pray. That is my normal oil. My normal oil to eat. This is five liters. I never open it. It's still still. This is the one that I have already opened. I'm using already. I want you to, you know, why I'm saying all this. And sometimes I don't want you people to see me that I'm bragging. No, this is not. I'm just trying to bring you people out from your problem. Olive oil is one of is the best oil you can use. People are using it only for salad, but me, I'm using it to cook. Now you understand. I'm not a rich man. But because I have understand that this life is only one, then anything that I'm doing, I want to do it for my own body. This is it. 
and I want you people to remain blessed. We are not, we are not one people. Stop buying lands in Yoruba land. Stop buying it. Their brother have told you people, stop buying it. I salute you all for being here today and uh, we are going to continue tomorrow. Great people of Biafra, I salute you all. Mazin Namdekani will be soon be out. The election have come and, come and gone. <clears throat> I salute you, I salute you. I know you are facing a lot of trouble. I know, I know. But uh, very soon, your husband will be out. And uh, your husband will be out, and everything will be good. I will stop it here now, one hour, 30 minutes. Thank you, great people, to we start again. Share this video like what I told you, Bukobi. Like I said, the same oil they are selling. And the one they are selling to you people, Anna Kuyaku. Greek oil. Anna Kuyaki, yeah, I ain't yelling. But some of you wish I'm not on or both. Monona, and Anna, I'm a friend of Bacalego. But all, everybody has his own thinking. The way you think, a good association. Ofunena, I'm a bro, Ofushine, Ofunena, I'm a bro, Fushinek. This is it. And I want you to remain blessed till we see again. Ushe Shidia, Jisike, God, Chuko Kikabiama, Gano Yerego, Noyapranu Digo, Ogapta very soon. And we are going to continue. My people, we are going to continue where we are going to stop today till tomorrow. Remain blessed, great people of Biafra, till we see again. Good day, and remain blessed.